Yo, what's good game world? Welcome to another Urban Gameplay News video. At the start of the week, we definitely got to give you what was hot over the weekend in terms of gaming news in the industry. So definitely keep it locked, peeps. Yo, it seems that Bungie's cracking down on all the cheaters online and definitely hit all the Destiny cheaters hard. Bungie confirmed last week that with their weekly Destiny's update, they attacked majority of cheaters who were trying to manipulate the online traffic and as a result was banned from the online game Crucible multiplayer mode. In a recent statement they said we know you want justice, we've seen the chat and we've read the reports. They went on to say we started with a look at the most notorious cheaters that have been reported by other players after a cross reference against our own player data we gave the ban hammer a mighty swing contained in the blast radius were hundreds of people who have manipulated the network traffic. For me it goes to show that cheating in video games doesn't really get you far and it's a good look from Bungie because obviously people that are really honest and playing Destiny can have a good time without the fear of getting cheated on. On the bright side, Bungie has released a handful of new images of the Dreadnought, one of the new locations players can explore in the Destiny's upcoming DLC, The Taken King. Yo, for all the mobile gaming fans out there, Angry Birds 2 has recently passed 10 million downloads and the game has been out for under a week. Angry Birds was released on July 29 and as Angry Birds 2 is actually a free to play game, obviously you could expect the downloads to be really high, but I feel it just goes to show that the branding of Angry Birds has been really successful. Since 2009, the Angry Bird franchise has actually tailored more than 1 billion downloads, which I feel is a phenomenal feat for the game. This is definitely one of those addictive games when you're on the train and you're out and about with your mobile is one of the pioneering mobile gamers I would say that actually really cool I've had a quick go of Angry Birds 2 and it's definitely a cool game it's not that much majorly different from Angry Birds 1 but they've actually introduced kind of a new feature to the game where all your birds take the form of a cards and when you use all the cards up you lose a life after this you can either wait for those lives to refill or after using them up you can either spend in-game currency which I feel I will never do but anyway this is definitely a cool game for all those mobile game lovers out there Yo, I'm not even going to lie peeps, anytime it comes to PC mod, I'm not really the biggest fan that actually looks out to see which games can get modded and stuff. Games like GTA 5, I've seen some really exceptional modifications on some of the games in Skyrim and therefore, but one of the mods that recently blew me away was Batman Arkham Knight, where you get a chance to play as Alfred. This video has recently been circulated from a fan who actually made this modification and I'm definitely a big fan of actually watching how this game plays out by using Alfred. I think it's a really good look and definitely worthwhile if they actually release this as a DLC for all the fans out there. Some of the footage is in the background and I ain't gonna lie if you watch the whole entire video it might spoil some of the side quests for you if you've not played the game before but definitely it's a great look. Anyway peeps as per usual I always gotta take my hat off and thank you guys for taking the time out to watch another urban gameplay news video. As per usual every single week we definitely try and keep you guys updated with some of the most interesting news coming out of the gaming industry. Make sure you guys check out urbangameplay.com for the latest news on a day to day basis. Until next urban gameplay video peeps peace out. And don't forget to like the video or subscribe to the channel if you've not done so yet. Yo.